But so yeah, not not really doing so much of the uh, the news stuff unless it's stuff that's like pops out and is like like super interesting that we like actively care about. Making it shorter too because that'd just be easier, keep it funner. So that way we're not like halfway through and we're like fucking like zoning out and shit. <laughs> Cause man, when we were, when we were doing it like in the fucking summer, it would get like hot as shit, and like I'm sweating. I'm like, oh god, I still have like another hour and a half of this, and I can't turn on my fan because then they'll get on the mic, and I'm just like, fuck, this sucks. Anyone need a uh, bathroom break or water or anything? Oh, I'm gonna make sure to wait until we're in the middle of recording. Don't worry. Oh yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. See, th this is why I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna take a phone call in the middle, but I'm not gonna mute my mic. Hey, we're back. It's uh, it's season two of the Game Session podcast. Uh, cue all the Action Essentials 2 special effects, like all the explosions, all the blood splatters. Uh, maybe like the Wilhelm scream or something, you know, just like all, all the cool stuff that you don't have to edit whatsoever. That should be fun. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I'm excited. It's season two. We're back. There's, there's some changes. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about those in a second. Uh, but today with me, I've got uh, Kyle, otherwise known as Kyle. How you doing, bud? <laughs> it is true. I am. I am also known as, as Kyle. I'm doing 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 good. Glad that uh, you're in a place to bring this back and excited to, to help me be a part of it. It's going to be fun. You, you have a very special role in, the, in our entire cast. I think we have... How many people do we have in our thing? I don't... I actually don't know off the top of my head. Like, what? Six? Seven? Eight people? Twelve. Fourteen. Twelve. Eighty-seven. Two. Um, but yeah, you, you have a very unique role in all this, Kyle. Do you know what that is? I, I do not. You do not. You're our token. Oh, hell yeah. You're our token straight white boy. That means... <laughs> That you have oh. the correct opinions, that you're the smartest one, everything. You know, you know, when the, what, <laughs> the first time in my life. <laughs> but see, when I was born, uh, the, the doctor grabbed me by like my little pinky toe. He hold me up. He said, yep, that's a fucking minority right there. It's a little fucking piece of shit. I'm and uh, he said he grabbed he, you by he, your pinky toe because that's not where I thought that was going. He, he, he then he swung me around by my fucking umbilical cord, fucking threw me at the wall, said like that's what life's gonna be like for you. So you know what? It, it prepped me pretty well. <laughs> so yeah, you're special, Kyle. Just wanted to let you know that. This is the first time in my life I've ever been special, so I'm I'm honored. As, as you should be. I will do my best to represent white people. <laughs> I feel that, I feel. That... <laughs> <laughs> I have a really low bar to clear to uh, set a good example. Straight yeah. men, so I, I I think you're pretty golden for the most part. Uh, now the actual smartest person we have on the to the say show, it's uh, Atma. How you doing? I, I I'm going to immediately make everyone disregard that statement just by being here. So, but I thank you for the uh, high bar that you just set. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the gamer chair and everything. All I got is this fucking what is this Office Depot piece of shit. So there I'm, you go. I, you got the most cred. I'm pretty sure me having the gamer chair makes me the stupidest person on the podcast. But only one of us has been drinking uh, Hard Mountain Dew, so I wonder who 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 would who would show up drinking Hard Mountain Dews. This this oh. podcast is not sponsored. <laughs> I only have soft Mountain Dew. Only flaccid Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, Jesus take it out Christ. to dinner first uh, before it becomes Hard Mountain Dew. Not not until the third outing do you get Hard Mountain Dew. Whoops, oh got a fucking God. fly right. Here. That's uh, what you deserve. <laughs> So yeah, let's just get into some quick little housekeeping, then we can get into the actual fun stuff, the, the fun bucks of, of it all. So yeah, feels good to be back here. There was a little bit of anxiety of coming back. I don't think we've done the show since, I think, October of last year. Just, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff going on, just felt like taking a break. And uh, labeling it as like season two proper feels like a good way to come back to it. But, th but there's some like smaller changes that are going forward. Uh, it's going to be shorter length, we're only doing an hour at a time, keep it nice and nice and short and sweet, that way people aren't getting tired halfway through, we kind of 
like focus on the good stuff. Don't feel like we have to stretch it out. As you can tell by our little baby shenanigans, there's going to be a little bit more of a comedic slam this time around. I don't know if they're going to be all as bad as this to throw the baby, but um, yeah, so, so it should be a fun time. We're all going to have a sacred vow and like religious chant that no one will get pissy with each other. If Kyle really likes a game and Atma's like, no, you're a fucking piece of shit. That game fucking sucks. Then you know what? Yeah. Nope. You fucking go all out. It's all good. There, there's that sacred vow. Uh, our fight to the death is what will happen off camera, though. That's, nah, the, you, that's the Patreon tier. Five dollars a month, you get, you get access to the game session fight club. You, you, have, you have to pay sixty nine dollars for that Patreon tier, and you have to subscribe to Kyle's OnlyFans. So there you go. Well, the more people subscribe, the less often I post. Oh no! It's to your benefit, <laughs> it's to your benefit to pay me. I promise. Uh, shit, holding the world at ransom. Are, are, are you fucking pro Jared or something, bro? Oh God. Oh man, <laughs> I I I I don't know if ashamed is the word, but I definitely saw it. I'm like, oh man, that's uh, that that's something. Oh jeez. <sighs> Sorry if you're watching, man. That's just it, it looked weird, man. I don't know what to tell you. I've seen a lot, but man, that that's that's definitely one. Just the last change is uh, just just some small lineup changes. We have some more. We have some people coming on that I'm like super excited to have on. That doesn't mean their opinions are very good because his name is CJ. But you know what? It, it's it's whatever. I'm excited to have him on regardless. I'm having a brain fart. But yes, this is the first show of season two. Uh, we were supposed to record on Thursday, but Comcast kind of decided to, to butt fuck me on that instead, just not having internet for like a week and a half. Um, so yeah, it was just sitting at home rubbing my tummy sucking my toes as one does when one doesn't have internet because there's literally nothing to do on the planet uh Why did, did i agree to come on here <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be a fun time. Second toes, rubbing tummies, fucking babies oh, throwing it all. Oh, oh, oh. I was I was blackmailed into this, so it's it's true. We we found your uh, your dank meme stash, and you didn't want us releasing it. So did anything stick out to anyone uh, for the uh, PlayStation State of Play that was on Thursday? Anything that looked cool or at least interesting? I mean, I grew up on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games, so the collection where all of them are together is pretty neat because uh, i never thought i'd get to see them re-released since konami owned the originals there's a whole bunch of them in there too it's like six plus or something right well so it's it, i think it's over like 10 because they have like the arcade version and then also the nes version of the arcade game um they have hyperstone heist as well as turtles in time as well as the arcade version of turtles in time like they have every version that was released across multiple systems several uh game types what's so the difference be between the uh the arcade and like the i guess the console release um so i know for the uh, first arcade game the and the, the nes version added a couple extra levels so so there's a couple extra bosses it's slightly longer might be balanced slightly differently in turtles in time it's the same like bosses are changed around there's some extra levels i think like slash it shows up in the teenage uh, the Turtles in Time Super Nintendo version, but it's like one of those rock warriors as the boss in the arcade version. Uh, so it's just random stuff like that. You get some extra bosses depending on which one you're playing. Did they say how much it was? Was it like a $20, $30 package? Or? I don't think they announced the price for it yet, just that it was I mean, It's definitely my childhood though. I remember me and my brother just playing the shit out of uh, Turtles in Time. We weren't very good at it, just a lot of dying, and you know, at least it was a console version, so you're not just like putting quarter <laughs> after quarter, yeah, uh, microtransactions before microtransactions. Do you, do you know the funny story between the Ninja Turtles and uh, Daredevil? Is this a setup for a bad joke? No, 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 I I, I know I'm smiling, I just like to smile, I'm a smiley guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but no, we no. know there's some shit there. There's something. <laughs> no, there's nothing, I swear, I swear. The Turtles and um, Daredevil walk into a bar. <laughs> Oh fuck! No, no, so in Daredevil, the the ninja gang, uh, Yakuza, what, whatever you want to call them, their organization is called the Hand. And as a parody, the Ninja Turtles, the ninjas they fight are called the Foot. That's where that came from. Yeah, I never that, knew that. Huh. And then uh, the the ooze or whatever that blinded Daredevil, that's supposed to be the exact same ooze that turned the turtles into. Ninja Turtles. Imagine how shitty that has to be where like you see people get affected by the ooze and they get turned into really badass like talking 
turtles that are proficient in martial arts and all it does to you is make you blind i mean it gave him it bit. gave him like freaking daredevil vision so that's cool at least right is that is that a decent trade-off no why but not have can... actual vision actual vision is is probably better i would say i think if you ask daredevil what he would prefer I'm, I'm speaking with someone with working eyes but i don't know i daredevil vision is pretty cool like if someone goes to like shoot a gun at you from like a million hundred miles away and you can hear that shit that's pretty cool right yeah but i'd rather be able to nunchuck the bullets out of the air and then yeah, i mean you, you could do Cowabunga. that Le okay. legally you can't scream cowabunga after doing something badass unless you're a, a teenage mutant ninja turtle would you rather get daredevil powers or be transformed into a giant eight foot walking ninja turtle oh no brainer giant eight foot walking turtle if you're trying to like take a dump and it's like peeking its head out a little bit are you giving birth to another turtle are you turtling or <laughs> jesus that's not even my joke. I sold that for my girlfriend. You can blame her for that. No, I'm crediting her for that. Ninja Turtles coming to, uh... It's coming to basically everything, isn't it? Yeah, it was announced for the the PlayStation on the state of play, but it's coming to Switch and Xbox and everything, too. Okay. Switch probably kind of seems like that'd be the best place to play it. It's all pixelated, anyway. Anything uh, stick out to you, Kyle, aside from your turtle? I, I actually... <laughs> I actually, I, I thought it was a kind of disappointing state of play just because most of the stuff, like the bigger things that were talked about are things that are already coming, like the, the Stranger Paradise, whatever demo, like, cool. We already know that game's coming. It's coming soon. There, there wasn't anything that had me like, oh my God, this is insane. This is life changing. I think I'm basically but, in the same boat. It I mean, it, like, like it, it's not, it wasn't bad. It just, I think expectations are usually high based on how like Nintendo Directs go and how the expectation for most of these things is always like, give us some sort of big announcement. Otherwise, why am I watching? Cause I could just watch, you know, just put out the trailers and I'll watch. But when they're putting, when they're making it a big event, then it makes me feel like, okay, well then there's going to be actually something big involved and there wasn't. So it was a little, a little disappointing, but also like, we also kind of know everything that's coming. So outside of giving big surprises, it's kind of hard to do anything that, that's going to like blow anyone away right now they're not going to do what nintendo does sometimes where they just like shadow drop complete games i i, I think it was the same for me and that and just like uh gauging the interest in it i'm just like because i think they announced beforehand it was going to be like what like 20 minutes focus on japanese games and i was just like you know what i'll just watch the ign fucking playlist of like all the trailers or whatever after the fact i, I wasn't like glued to my seat like oh shit i gotta watch this live like be part of the fucking hype whatever i, I still can't believe strangers of paradise the uh the final fantasy game is a thing with a fucking and like Lip Bisc and everything because it, it's writing that line for me I'm just like does this know it's stupid or is it just stupid and I have no idea at the moment so I we're gonna I, find I out to soon <laughs> I am so fascinated to see how this how it, it reviews because like it can go either way even after the demo like people are saying that you know it's, it's like campy but good campy but also bad campy and like it's apparently in the demo there's a whole bunch of uh like graphical and like bug problems and that sort of thing so it's unpolished but also like it it really feels like those old you know like dirge of cerberus and oh god you know, it comes out like uh, what six days too right yeah yeah like it comes out next week and i i just it's exciting for me because like we haven't gotten this like solid mid-tier game that is like bad but also like could be a cult classic sort of game in a long time like everything's either been like these triple a awesome like you know elden ring horizon you know blowouts or like super coveted indie games and whatnot you don't get that like mid mid-level sort of like well this is rad but sort of like weird yeah. games anymore and like this this is one of those games for sure i was gonna say it's also nice to have a game that like there's no real people don't really have expectations for it it's not like it's something that like you're mentioning it's not like super hyped and people are really excited about it which also means can't really be you can't really be disappointed by something you were never excited for and then at the same time because nobody's super excited for it there's a chance that it does kind of become that like cult classic like hey that was that's kind of neat i just need to know how dedicated to limp biscuit it is I, like how much of that meme factor it's really riding on the, but, the level of dedication to Limp Bizkit uh, coincides directly with my level of enjoyment in the game. Exactly. 
But uh, going to what you were saying, Altma, like, yeah, I, I miss that, like, kind of, like, middle tier where it's not, like, super high production values. It's just kind of, like, middle of the road. You, you would get, like, you would genuinely get, like, some cool creative uh, things in there. And uh, that's kind of, like, mostly being relegated to, like, indies or, like, maybe, like, the rare AAA game that puts, like, a cool thing out there. Th there was a game that just came out, I think it was last week, uh, Shadow Warrior 3. Like, that. that's, like, the definition, middle of the road. Not high production, it's not technically the greatest, but man, I had a fucking great time with the last two, and uh, I, I, I I could really swim in those uh, 7 out of 10s for a long while. The all, yeah. Only 8s and 9s and ten, perfect games, Elden Ring? Pff, fuck that, dude. I, I, I need I need my 7s right there. That That's the good shit. As far as stuff that they showed, I, I think I'm kind of the same camp. I was kind of iffy. I know Sylvia, if she, if she was on the show today, she'd probably be geeking out about uh, Gundam Evolution. It's like a first-person uh, arena shooter where you're playing as Gundam, so that's cool because they're big giant robots and shooting stuff is cool and robots are cool and shooting robots is cool, so that's cool. Returnal is getting a co-op campaign. I, I think it's a new campaign or if it's the same one i don't know i'd have to look it up but yeah super su super excited to jump into that love the base game i know Corey's addicted to it as well so we we can die together and it'll be nice and platonic platonically romantic out the way we die over and over together holding each other's arms rubbing each other's bellies you know sucking toes so that'll be cool <laughs> hey i do not have any uh, toe fungus. I'll let I will let you know. I keep that shit clean. Please stop saying toe. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you traumatized by a toe? Did you watch? Um, I know it wasn't toes, but did you, did you ever see Spy Kids, the Walking Thumb people, or whatever? Oh my god! Did you watch that and get scarred as a child? I just hate feet. Like it's just oh god. Like if um, uh, if those. Those monsters in Elden Ring were like giant feet spiders. I don't know if I'd be able to play oh, the game. Like that would just creep me out. I, I will refrain from making uh, some egregious uh, foot puns for your behalf, for your for your sanity. I've already tortured you enough. <laughs> I was just say, just to, to change the subject off of feet, I have done some extensive research on the Returnal Ascension expansion, and it is just adding co-op to the main campaign as well as adding like an endless horde mode. But the expansion it, it's very similar to elden rings where your progress is tied to the progression is tied to the host's account so if you're bringing someone in to help and they come and join you to help they don't actually get credit in their own playthrough but you get it in yours so it, it is okay. interesting it's gonna be neat is um, it a is it paid or free i would assume it's good. free if it's just like adding if, if it's not like a different it is a free right? update it, it is a free update which honestly makes me so i i have not played returnal Oh, dude, I'll totally play with you. Returnal's fucking dope. I was say, adding in co-op definitely makes me more likely to want to check it out. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. See, this is why we have the... the well, I, I already told Atma she, she was the smartest person on the podcast. This is why we have second per smartest person on the show, Kyle, here to do research on the fly. I, gu I guess the only other thing that was like super interesting to me... Like, they showed Ghostwire Tokyo, but that's already coming out. Like, I already know I'm going to get it. It's like, whatever. I don't need any more information. Exo Primal. It's a, it's a Capcom game where you're just minding your own business, sitting there, looking up at the sky and like, Neo Tokyo or whatever. And the giant portal opens in the sky, and then all these dinosaurs just come flooding out, like freaking sardines or something, and start attacking stuff. And you're, whoever you're playing as is like, oh no, I don't like that. So they get in a big old uh iron man suit and you're going around fighting dinosaurs it looks it looks fucking cool um i know i know a lot of people felt kind of teased that it was going to be like a dino crisis game for a second because it has like the character with red hair or whatever and then it went yeah no we're, we're gonna jump in mech suits and shoot dinosaurs because mechs are cool and shooting dinosaurs is cool and shooting dinosaurs while you're in a mech suit is double cool they combined anthem with dino crisis yeah it's someone at capcom is smoking crack and it seems to have paid off so you know what maybe addiction is a solution to all the world's problems <laughs> i don't know what to tell you japan's weird like this is gonna be a little bit of a segue so i know like people i like i like the persona games i think they're fun as hell but a lot of people like over the years have started like criticizing just like you know it's probably kind of weird you're playing these games and you're like dating fucking high schoolers and they're like fucking like 15 or whatever and then there's like an option in five i, I think the person's like 13 and people are just like ew these fucking devs are fucking gross as shit letting you date fucking kids or whatever i'm just like 
I don't know. I, I feel like that, that's more of a Japanese problem. J Japan's age is like super low. But you know what? If we're getting mechs, fighting dinosaurs, I think everything else wrong with the country is totally fine, right? These are, these are the essential sacrifices we need to get mechs fighting dinosaurs. And you know what? I don't know where I'm going with that. Well, you know, if it was up to Western developers, we would never get mechs fighting dinosaurs. We'd get a really sad dad, and he'd see the dinosaurs come out, and it would cause him to go out into the middle of nowhere and get a whole bunch of introspection on him and figure out that, oh, he's actually really happy and not sad, and then he'd go and, like, befriend a dinosaur, and then the dinosaur would die, and he'd go on a rampage at the end, and then there'd be, like, this philosophical question about, was this all right or wrong or not? And... Then we'd get like another sequel or two and everyone would turn on it because then they kill the dad at the very beginning and it all would just be <laughs> terrible. Oh, uh, shit. If it, was, if it was like real American, the, the the child you're looking after to like bring, to like be the cure for all the world's problems, it turns out it was just your handgun the entire time. And then like as you get there, just like, look, I have the solution to all the world's problems. It's just, it's just a fucking AR-15. And then eagles fly up and there's a flag and explosions and shit. You know, you don't even have to name it anything else. Just name that game America. There you go. Fucking, <laughs> fucking uh, buy, buy me out for that pitch, Activision. You can do it. I don't know if they have time between harassing people, but you know what? I, I, I don't have faith in them at all. Let's see. So you two have been playing Elden Ring. Both the three of us have also played Horizon. I guess